this video, I'm going to show you how you can add animated gradient text to your system.io pages. I have various different styles here that you guys can use. We have soft pulls, we have the neon pulls here as well. I try to do the dark and light background as well so you can see how they can all look. I'm also going to give you all the code. So all you got to do is go to my blog post. You can go ahead and just copy and paste these codes. I give you an example of what it's going to look like. If you do want to import this page here, which includes all of them for you, so you can just import them and then just use them right away. You can just go into my Funnel Vibe Learn area here. It's, it's free to join and you'll get access to a membership area where you're going to be able to just click here and it's going to import this whole page into your system.io account. It's also going to give you the code here as well. So this is just if you do want to learn more, if you want to get emails of new updates that I have, I definitely recommend you check this out. I'm going to leave the link down below. However, let's get straight into it so you can go in and add these yourself. So what we're going to do here is I have three different sections here, dark, light, and dark version here. You can see they don't have any animations yet. So what you're going to do is, again, you can go in and see the instructions here. But first, you need to have heading. So a heading or text, you can even add a gradient to a button. But we're just going to focus here on the heading side of things as well. So you can just drag and drop that in here. I already have these in here just to save us time. You're also going to need this right HTML element as well. So you can find here at the very bottom of the system.io. So you can just drag it here at the very top. All right. So I'm just going to delete this one. And it's going to look something like this. You can click edit code. You can see I already have something in there. We're going to delete everything that's in there. We're going to go back to the blog post that I created. Or if you're in a membership area, you can just grab it from there as well. We're going to try this radiant pulse. So we're going to copy this whole text from style from the style tag to the end style tag here. We're going to go in here, paste all of it in here. Now that should not do anything yet because we need to tell system.io uh, which heading to focus on. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on this text headline, scroll all the way down, click to ID attribute, grab that ID attribute at the very bottom, go back to edit code, and we're going to replace this text here. So now it knows it's going to add that gradient to that text heading. What I don't like about system.io right now is as soon as you add this, it deletes. Well, it doesn't delete it, but it just makes things invisible here because we are adding a transparent background. You see, you can see here, uh, the tool, the fill color is transparent. That's because it, it's going to make it transparent and then it's going to fill it with all these gradient colors. And it's a system that doesn't have a live CSS view. So what we're going to do is make sure it actually works by clicking the preview button there and make sure it actually works on the actual live page. So let's wait for it to load here. So you can see it does work correctly here on the actual live preview. So we're going to go ahead and keep that there. I'm going to remove this preview URL here. You can just come back and refresh this page without this little preview bar at the top. So now it added that rainbow pulse. You can also go in and change the colors. So there it already has some pre-built colors like red, orange, yellow, green. So that's kind of the, the order is going to go into. So you can see red, orange. I recommend you keep the, the first one you use at the front. And the last one the same color that way it kind of looks as if it's like continuously continuously going without any hard uh, color transitions so that's how, kind of how you do that as well let's go back and try another one here so let's try the soft pulls again all you got to do is add that right html at the very top and then have a heading in there you can also add it to the text again let's go back to the blog post here we're going to grab this text here like i said you can go ahead and copy and paste they don't want to make this video too long I'm going to make sure you guys understand the process. Once you add that right HTML element, you're going to edit the code, delete everything that's in here, make it blank, and paste that new code that I gave you. Again, we're going to go in and grab this ID attribute from this headline, go into edit code, remove this, hit save. And again, it's going to make that transparent background since system.io doesn't have that live preview. And let's say you actually want to add that gradient effect to this text element as well. You're going to go down here, grab this text ID, Go back to that edit code and then you're going to add a comma hashtag and then add that new id hit save you see now i made it disappear since now we can go in and save it let's go back to our preview one refresh this and then see what happens so now you can see we added not only the gradient effect to this headline but we also added it to this text section as well Another thing that you can do is modify these elements. So you can see if you go back into this raw HTML element, you open this code, you can see this animation line here. We can change kind of how slow the pulse is. For example, if you want to double it, you can just add six seconds. I would leave this one infinite, so it's just going to keep repeating itself. 
but it just kind of just slows down the pulse effect. You can also change the colors. You can change if it, you want it to go to right to left or left to right. You can just change that to right. So just giving these options here. I will not modify this since this is kind of just what does what creates this soft glow effect. We just add it here. So this is the keyframes, and then we're referencing that here as well. But I just want to show show you this as well since it gives you some options in terms of what you can do. So you can do that with all these text elements. And let's do it just one last time for practice here. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to add the right element here at the top. We're going to go grab that code that I give you. Everything pre-built for you. You're just going to have to copy and paste. Try to make it as simple as possible for you. Save. We're going to grab this headline ID attribute. Go back to the code. Replace this. Hit save. And now this one does show that live preview here, which is pretty cool. So now we can go back and hit save go back to the live preview now you can see we have a text animation here we got some soft pulls and a rainbow pulls here so that's pretty much it again go ahead and click down the links down below so you can take you to this blog post if you do want to import that that page that includes all of them already pre-built for you then you can just go to funnel vibe learn and you can just go into the course area click this button and it's going to import this whole page into your account